Hello, this is a short video um, to take a look at week one's Do Something We Haven't Taught You challenges. Um, so just a reminder, these challenges are about teaching you a really important skill in programming. And that's the ability to search the internet and internet resources in order to find solutions to coding problems you've encountered that you don't know the answer to straight away. So let's have a look at challenge number one. So we've been given a unsorted list of integers. Uh, and the example data we've got is here, which is 5764321. So hopefully you agree that's an unsorted list. Um, and what we need to do is we need to get an expected answer of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So underneath that is some example code to get you started. So we're creating a list called unsorted. And the values of the list is our example data and then we're printing that out. And what I've done is I've set that up in um, Spider. So if we run that code, there we have our example output. And also in our variable explorer, we can see the unsorted of type list of size seven and there are our values. So our challenge is to sort that list. So what I recommend you do first is open up your favorite search engine and type in the following python list sort so what that's done is firstly it's restricted our results to python which is what we want we don't want results for java for example um, it's looking only at python lists and only at sorting lists so we've tried to filter out as much superfluous information as we can and what's come up are some typically some high ranking help sites. Um, so for example, you'll see tutorials point quite a lot and wiki.python.org and program is. Personally, I quite like wiki.python.org. So let's have a quick look at that. So this is quite nice. It's got a, it's got a section on sorting basics um, and it says simple ascending order is very easy. Just call the sorted function. It returns a new sorted list. So this looks like a built-in function within Python that we can call. Um, so they've got an example here of calling that on this list 52314, and then out pops 12345. So something important to notice is that it returns a new sorted list. So that means it is not sorting the original list. It is creating a new list, a copy of that, and then sorting that version. So your original and your sorted are two separate sections of memory. Um, and it also says you can use the list.sort method of a list and it modifies the list in place. So there's some example code here where if we've got a list called A um, with the same variables values as before and we call A.sort, um, A's value has now been sorted. So that's the difference between the two. So one is a built-in function called sorted and that creates a new list, which is in ascending order. And then if you call the sort method on the list itself, that modifies the list in place. Um, and so you don't have a new list, you just have a normal list, your standard original list that's been sorted. So let's try that out in Python. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a uh, new variable called sorted list. And I'm going to call the sorted built-in function in Python and pass it the unsorted list. And then I'm going to print that out. Let's run that code. And there we go. So our first output is the unsorted list. And then our second is as, as we wanted, which is the sorted list. And if we have a look up here, we can see that these are actually two separate things. But if we then go back to our unsorted list and call the sort method, and then print unsorted and run that. So what we can see is when we print unsorted for the first time, we get our original list of 5764321. We then create a new list called sorted using the sorted built-in function and print that. And there's our sorted outcome. And then if we go back to our original unsorted list and call the sort method, 
and then print out the outcome, we can see that now unsorted itself, the original the original list has been sorted and we can see that if we look up our variable explorer that the values within these two lists are in the same order. So that's an important distinction to be aware of. Um, so if you didn't want to sort your original list then you would always call um, the sorted built-in function but if you did want to sort your original list you would call the sort method. So you need to be careful of that um, uh, so you don't want to introduce some sort of logic bug into your code.